Hey everyone, Bill here, Rough Stored Hot Rods. So I came out here to move the 51, get it out of the garage here, because I gotta pull the GMC in front of that door so I can jack up the body and get it off the frame, do all that good stuff. So I come out here, and I know I had a little leak under the 51. So, but I had a, I got a surprise. I'll show you here. I need to get my kneeling pad. So I throw a piece of cardboard underneath it, you know, to catch a little leak. I'll take care of that soon enough. Check this out. That's more than a little leak. You probably can't see it. The cardboard soaked. So I gotta jack it up and see what's going on. Huh. More interruptions. Okay, so I switched to my phone, trying to take videos down underneath the car here. I'll show you what we got. So under the car here, the transmission, I can't tell. I think it's a kick down linkage. They're leaking. Although it doesn't look that wet. Transmission lines are dry. It may just be the PAM. Although I don't think so. I gotta put that flywheel cover back on. There's something I forgot to do. So anyway, I don't think anybody's. I never showed any video down here. For the fifty, for the fifty-one here. This is a cross member I got online from. I can't remember the company. And the way it humps over there, goes over the top of the transmission and down. And it's really adjustable. Works out really well. It's pretty cool, actually. And. The new drive shaft. It's got a Camaro rear end in it. New shocks. Got a new gas tank in it. Original springs. But I did update all the the bushings. I still have to rebuild the front end. But that's to, that's later on down the line. And I did do a cob job on the exhaust. That's my $5 garage sale uh, muffler. You know, that floor pan there was replaced. I had to replace that one. And the front one up here, I don't know if you can see that one, probably not. A little bit of a corner of it. But I'm gonna wipe this trainee down, snug it up, and hopefully that takes care of it because I'm gonna pull mama's car out and I gotta park this where that goes. Because I can't have this sitting out in the rain. So it's been 24 hours since I found this leak. Came underneath here, put some paper towels underneath there, see what's going on, so I can find it. Go right here and check it. And look at that. It's dry. dry down here but wet up here so that's definitely leaking from the kick down linkage get a light going here yeah yeah you can see it right there so I better get a new o-ring on that puppy irritating It's always something.